Chanel here from the Heart and Soul with your weekly Oracle card reading for December 4th through the 10th, 2023. I'm set up a little differently today. I'm hoping the podcast mic picks up my voice a little bit better. <clears throat> I have been uh, sort of without a voice for about a week now and it's just not coming back and I feel pretty good, but the voice is a little funny, so I apologize. It is what it is today. Uh, I was drawn to the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by the darling uh, Radley Valentine today. And of course, we're going to draw three cards to see what's going on for this coming week. <clears throat> I have a new date for the Manifesting Your Dream Life Day Retreat in Stony Creek, Ontario. Uh, there is uh, plenty of space still for the January 7th. That's a Sunday a date. It is a full day manifestation retreat. Dumping cards. As well as on Friday, December 15th, there is a Yoga Nidra and a Healing and Activation Energy Circle uh, in Dundas Yoga and Fitness. The Nidra is also available online. Pay what you can. The cards are not coming out today. <clears throat> All right, there's number one. <laughs> Two. Just had to tell them. Oh, that one right there. Oh, see? No, this one. Now they can't make up their mind. Let's see what the cards have to say today. Two of fire, planning, partnering, progress. That's exactly what the, we are in right now. We are in this phase where it's really important to take the time to plan, to contemplate, to check in. It is all about getting into an alignment with where you want to be in 2024 before January 1st. We have been given this window of energy to work with. And it's funny, the energy is very like contradictory. It is very like stay still, hibernate, you know, inward stuff. But at the same time, there is this blast of energy just urging us to push forward. But it's not in taking action as much as it is about, you know, releasing, healing, um, getting in alignment, creating a plan, um, setting goals, that sort of stuff, which is super, super important right now. So make time to do it before January 1st. Okay, card number two. <clears throat> Six of water, memories, childhood, nostalgia. Um, interesting. Cups are full of flowers here. Things are blooming. There is a remembering that is happening right now. Um... There is an awakening of lessons, things that we've learned in the past that are important to where we're headed that are coming back up, but also a remembering of the past that we were not part of, uh, you know, past lives or just ancestral information. There's a lot of ancient wisdom that's coming up right now, but this card is also asking us to have a lot of fun right now. Um... I get it. Not everybody's childhood was fun. But as an adult, we have the choice to have childlike moments. That's why I'm a Disney nerd. I love the fact that I can go. I can wear my Mickey ears. I get to eat, you know, ice cream and Mickey-shaped pretzels and ride on roller coasters and just have fun. So what are the things that you can do you know, maybe it's watching a Christmas movie you love to watch. Uh, what's the one that you're going to shoot your eye out with the BB gun and the leg lamp? I can never remember the name of it, but we watched it every year at Christmas. And it, it's just, it's nostalgic and it's fun and it just makes you laugh. So what are the things that you're doing to raise your vibration through play, through fun, through having... Um, making new memories even, that's really important as well. The raising your vibration and connecting into that energy of vibration is really important right now. <clears throat> but, oh, they're saying, please don't get lost in the past. Please don't get lost in the negative and like, don't go there. 
they're being very clear that it's about clearing things up. It is not about creating a bigger mess. So please don't get lost in like the what if and could have been and oh, it was so bad. Clean it up. That's the healing work that's happening right now. Clean it up. Last one, another piece of fire. We got two fire cards this week. I had one jump out at me as well, um, which was perfect for this. But Ace of Fire is opportunity, creativity, and action. Perfect ending. I love it. You see this little person here with this big wand. Um, as you move through the cards, this little person will grow. Um, so you get it over here. You'll have this little person bigger. Um this year coming in has the potential to carry a lot of the things that you have been looking for in your life if you have stepped into alignment with those things, if you have released the past, if you had taken care in the lessons that you have been learning, Again, we are being given this window right now where we've already shifted into this 2024 energy that is creating and building. It is making space. So use it for what it is intended for. Because when the energy ramps up in January, because it's going to, whatever the new moon is closest to the first of the month, it will be another like awakening of energy. There is some massive, massive shifting energetically that is going on right now. And it is your choice to step into it, to embrace it, to assimilate to it and use it or dig in your heels. I dare you because it's not going to be good if you're not willing to learn your lessons. It is not going to be good. Okay, I'm going to stop there before I have no voice left. Um, thank you for tolerating my scratchy voice today and all that it is. I'm glad that I still can share with you this beautiful message. I hope the podcast might helped a little bit. Um, again, there's spaces in Manifesting Your Dream Life. It is a full day retreat in Stony Creek, Ontario. Um, it is on Sunday, January 7th, the perfect timing for blasting open all your goals and dreams and learning a little magic to help you along the way because spirituality is simple and you can include it in your everyday life. Uh, check out Yoga Nidra. You can do it online. It's a beautiful guided meditation to help you relax, which is perfect for the holidays. Um, that is Friday, December 15th from 6 to 7 p.m., either in person in that Dundas Yoga and Fitness or online on Zoom. It is pay what you can. Uh, and then there is a healing and activation circle on that Friday night in, at Dundas as well. It is from 7.30 to 9. It is a removing of blocks and opening up passages for, for growth, fertility, you know, it is the energy that we need right now to move into this new year. And I have been so sick that I haven't really put it out there. So I'm going to give you guys a special deal on it. Uh, I'm not going to put it up to the regular price. I'm going to knock it down because I think everybody needs it right now. Um, and I would love to see a full room. Uh, it is limited only till 10. Uh, but you do get notes on your healing and all of that as well. Everything that was happening during this the, the healing session. So check it out. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you can do an energy exchange and share this, like it, comment, put it in your stories, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media. It's, it's so greatly appreciated. So greatly appreciated. And I'm almost at 2000 followers on Instagram. So share. I'd love to get to 2000 and do a giveaway. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here and being a part of my spiritual journey and allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from my heart and soul to yours. Until the next time. Bye now.